gotcha you too here we go we're going on down the road here going to continue our uh our leasing chapter this will be chapter three we'll call it on uh on my leasing subject here uh on my last one here if you guys are watching these in in session uh my last one here i got a little bit interrupted uh, I, was, I was waiting to get loaded and uh somebody come and knocked on my door and tell me to let's go let's go get loaded buddy so i had to kind of cut that video off a little bit uh but i covered what i wanted to cover on that uh here we are we're going down the road hauling freight in big old beautiful texas uh finally getting to go to the house after uh, about four weeks out by choice so uh forgive the uh the background noise here we're truckers and uh let's talk so listen up <laughs> let's see here chapter three on on the leasing uh does leasing a truck make you an owner operator this topic has a shitload of opinions a shitload of opinions uh, there's some fine lines and I don't know to to give a, a definite answer um, there, there really is no definite answer all there are is more opinions and here comes another opinion there, here's my opinion on on does leasing a truck uh, make you an owner operator uh, well, the first part of my answer is what kind of lease is it? You know, there, you, you got to break it down. You can't just say leasing, period. Um, what kind of lease is it? You know, like I was talking before, uh, you got your regular rental leases and your lease purchases. You've got leases uh, through a carrier. You've got lease purchases through a carrier. And then you've got your outside stuff your your uh, independent uh, leasing companies your truck dealers uh, use used truck dealers uh, new truck dealers uh, that have some sort of a lease option or uh, you've ultimately bit the bullet and went to the bank and got your outside financing or or through the dealer or, or whatever you you're financed on your own okay you have nothing to do with the carrier all right so those are the options uh, I think the biggest stink out here and uh, I kind of laugh my ass off at it at it also is uh, guys that are uh, just starting out and they sign up for their first lease at uh, uh, we'll call it carrier uh, a just for for example here it doesn't matter because they're all about the same on this lease and lease purchase so you go on down the list and you can name all the carriers that do this um, for this video and this example we're just going to call it carrier a how about that um, so you, you're just starting out you, you're getting into a lease truck uh, looking to looking for that next level of trucking which is fine that's great i applaud you i admire uh your drive to to want to move up in this industry okay good job um, taking on a regular lease is a lot more responsibility like I talked about in, in my previous video it gets you a, a taste of what it's really like out here um, does that make you an owner operator my opinion is no it does not make you an owner operator that particular situation does not make you an owner operator if you are leased through a company not leased to leased through a company you are not a no, uh, an owner operator okay this is just my opinion guys uh, you know there's uh, I'm sure I'm gonna get some hate mail on this uh, uh, do me a favor and, and save your hate mail uh, because I've already said this is a lot of this this subject here has a lot of opinions okay uh, we'll get into some other details here all right but just leasing a regular lease not a lease purchase uh, well you know what even a lease purchase through a carrier does not make you an owner operator even though that you're making the payments you're going to own the truck when the lease is done you know once you make your final lease payment they're going to hand you the title 
It's still, uh, to me, my opinion, uh, you are not an owner operator. You are a lease driver. And, and some will go as far as, as saying that it's just a glorified company driver. And I agree to some extent, okay? Um, if, to me, being an owner operator, the, the definition term to me is being able to move the truck freely, being able to do what you want to do with the truck. If you don't like the company that you're with or if you want to go independent and, and get your own authority, all that sort of stuff, um, if you have that freedom, you are an owner operator, okay? Um, a lot of these companies, uh, the lease drivers, uh, once you sign that lease, uh, you can't take the truck somewhere else. You know, if things aren't working out, and back what I said in, in my previous video, that these lease companies, they're in charge of you. They're, uh, they're, they're in charge of your freight. You're hauling their freight. You're in their truck. It's got their name on the door. And every piece of paperwork that comes to you has their name on it, okay? They are in charge of, of how your business operates, okay? You are not an owner, you are not an owner operator, okay? Pretty simple, again, my opinion. Um, some companies, uh, we'll, we'll say carrier B, will, uh, if you sign on a lease purchase with carrier B, uh, some of them have stipulations or rules to where you've got to pay up, you know, a, a couple payments in advance. Uh, there has to be some sort of a special agreement uh, between uh, your new company and your old company that you're going to. Some sort of maybe a direct deposit type deal to where the truck payment is being paid. Okay, some companies will not, uh, they won't jive with each other they won't they won't agree to that you know maybe the new company that you're looking at going to they won't sign that agreement to do a direct deposit or a direct payment uh, to your old company where you're leasing the truck through okay again you're losing that freedom you are not an owner operator you're not an independent owner operator okay um, it just it it works out like that okay now to get into the title of owner operator um, now you can lease a truck now a lot of people a lot of you guys might disagree with this and again you know, save your hate mail please uh, you can lease a truck and be an owner operator at the same time whoa what that goes against everything right I mean that that whole word owner I, I think everybody's thrown out cut that radio down there uh, everybody's thrown off by that word owner and owner operator uh, let, let's talk about your house you know for for all y'all that that have a mortgage payment and are financed through the through the bank and uh, you know you got a 30-year term or 15-year term whatever term on your mortgage right uh, whenever you go to apply for any kind of credit uh, there's two boxes there of, of, of your home right do you do you rent or do you own well you know if we're gonna go uh, to the a lot of people say that owner operator means that you have to have the title to the truck in the in the safe at the house you you have possession of the title of the truck you own the truck that's right you you fit the title of owner operator okay because you own the truck but let's go back to the house you know uh, are you renting or do you own? There's usually two boxes that you have to check, you know, when you're when you're applying for credit or a whole bunch of other stuff, you know, school loans, any etc. Um, there's two boxes to check: do you rent or do you own? Well, uh, you know, if if this theory is right that you have to have the title to a truck to be an owner operator, uh, when it comes time to check that box, if you rent or own, uh, but you don't have the deed to the house in the safe at home you don't own it all right that that's how that you know they go they go side by side you know uh, you don't own the house the bank owns the house because you're not done making your payments yet so technically you're just renting from the bank 
you're you're renting the house from the bank but you know hopefully this kind of kind of paints a little picture and that, that's what it's all about i understand everybody's situation is different uh, i get it uh, but we're just we're just chit-chatting here you know um this isn't set in stone again this is my opinion and uh, you know to me an owner operator the the true definition of owner operator to me is being able to freely move the truck and do whatever the hell you want to with the truck okay you can lease a truck through an outside source a truck uh, yard you know uh, a truck dealer uh, they've got leases you know you can sign up for a lease uh, and you can do whatever the hell you want with the truck they don't care as long as they get their money okay that falls under the title of owner operator um, you know you can go to every company you can move the truck around if you don't like a company you can quit you can take your truck and peel the stickers off the door operate it by you can change your stickers okay you can do whatever the hell you want if you want to go independent get your own authority you can do that and but the truck it's just a lease How, you know I mean does that make sense um, it's it's the when you're leased through a carrier and you cannot take the truck anywhere else you cannot move this truck freely you are not an owner operator okay um, some people like leases like I said in my previous video you can uh, a lot of rich people uh, not even rich people just a lot of people uh, they prefer a lease okay because they don't really uh, they don't really care to own it um, they like it they like their their stuff to be new uh, under warranty and at the end of the lease they trade it in and get another brand new one that's under warranty you can do that with these trucks okay it works the same damn way does that mean that you're not an owner operator just because you're leasing a truck no you can move that truck where you want to even though it's just a lease and you're going to turn it in you'll never own the truck if that's your thing if that's what you want to do you can be uh you can lease uh five trucks back to back you know lease one run it out turn it in get another one run it out turn it in but you can move the truck as you please you can go from company to company and move around or get your own authority again that i mean to me that's owner operator that, that's an owner operator right there you're in charge of maintenance you're in charge of breakdowns you're in charge of everything you're making the truck payment um you, you're, you're worried about insurance all this sort of stuff but the truck is just a lease you know I, I know some fleet owners okay now fleet owners independent fleet owners okay they lease their trucks they have a three-year term on all their trucks just so they can keep new equipment that's under warranty okay less problems does that make them not an independent uh fleet no no it, it, they're completely independent fleet they just lease their trucks they like having new equipment there's nothing wrong with that they are he's an owner operator a business owner there you go you know i mean uh, to me it's it's just that simple you know um yeah i was reading on a post on facebook not too long ago a big question uh, uh kind of laughing at these guys uh that sign on to these big carriers and and as soon as they sign the papers just a regular lease they're going and changing their their facebook status uh to owner operator you know um they can't move the truck they they can't take the truck anywhere else they're stuck at that company for the remainder of the lease even if it's a lease purchase you can't move the truck you're not an owner operator it's pretty simple okay um it's like me if you guys follow me on facebook all right i'm in a lease purchase i have no shame in it okay i'm in a lease purchase it works for me some people will talk negative uh some people might think a little bit less of me um, i am not with a mega carrier i'm with a smaller company not a small company but a smaller it's a small small medium company right uh, just big enough to have decent freight but just small enough to give a shit about me all right um, i'm happy okay you guys uh, uh if you follow me uh, you understand my situation 
uh, married, got kids, uh, all that stuff, okay? Um, I, I just can't, I love trucking, I wanna move up to that next level, and I just can't save up the 15 or 20 grand down, plus an extra five grand minimum, like I talked about before, uh, to float any kind of bills, okay? We're talking 25 grand, 30 grand in the bank uh, to really do this and, and have fun and not be stressed out about this, right? Uh, most of us can't do that. I don't know a lot of people that, that could do that, all right? So sometimes a lease purchase is, it works, okay? You just gotta be smart about it and uh, know what you're getting into. Uh, know if, if the company has a good track record and all their drivers are happy. Every driver you talk to there is just happy. They have nothing but great things to say about the company. Um, how many, how many uh, uh, drivers have received the title to their truck in the last year? Um, do your research on this, guys. You know, if, if the company is decent and legit and you hear nothing but good things, then it might be real. You know, uh, uh, that might be something to consider. All right, don't be scared of it. I'm in, uh, back back to on point. You know, I, I'm I'm in a lease purchase. It's a straight up legit deal. Okay, I'm comfortable. I'm making good money, and I'm paying uh, every time I make a truck payment. I'm paying toward. I'm getting equity in the truck. I'm I'm buying the truck. Okay, when I make my last payment, I get the title to the truck. Okay. I am not an owner operator and I will never say that I'm an owner operator at the moment. As soon as I get the title in my hand and actually one step further, as soon as I transfer the title over into my name and I open up the safe and I put that, that title in the safe and I lock that door, now I, ha I can officially title myself as an owner operator okay that's my opinion because I own the truck now you know uh, I can uh, I can do whatever the hell I want to with the truck if I want to park it in the middle of the yard and turn it into a damn chicken coop I can do that <laughs> that's actually I, I, I'm planning on doing that with one of these trucks man I'm gonna make me a, a chicken coop out of a truck but uh, that's me you know that's 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 my deal um, so that's, that's it, guys. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, hopefully this uh, kind of painted a little bit of a picture and uh, will help some questions. Again, this is my opinion. Please save your hate mail. Like I said, this, this topic here, uh, we could beat this dead horse uh, all day long. You know, you get around the truck stop and in some of the trucking groups on Facebook, this can go uh, uh, hundreds and hundreds of comments and months and months and <laughs> get pretty heated at times, okay? Um, there's lots of opinions. So, again, save your hate mail on this one. This is my opinion. Uh, if y'all feel any differently, you know, you can you can uh, leave a comment or, uh, you know, send me a link uh, to your video. <laughs> Send me a link to your video. I'll, I'll check it out, and uh, you know maybe uh, maybe we can we can do something together. I don't know. You know, um, it's just this is just one of those topics. All right. So that's my opinion on it. That's how I feel about it. And uh, I'm gonna get off here. Getting close to where I need to be. So I'm gonna shut it. Shut this all down. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there. Share this out. Get it out to whoever needs to. Uh, uh, needs to know this stuff about leasing, uh, owner op, all that sort of stuff. Okay, um, putting out good information here uh, on, on Truck and Rob channel, on my Facebook, uh, the Robin Woody Show over on LNJ Radio. Uh, we're just spilling out information here. Okay, so uh, if I don't have the answer for you, I can certainly find out some find somebody that does has the, have the answer for you. All right, all right, I'm gonna get off here. Uh, remember to uh, be the professional, set the example out here, help your brothers and sisters. Let's revive the brotherhood. Let's make trucking great again, guys. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.